May 12th, St. Epiphanius, Archbishop. St. Epiphanius was born about the year 310 in Palestine. In his youth, he began the study of the Holy Scriptures, embraced a monastic life, and went into the deserts of Egypt to perfect himself in the exercises of that state. He returned to Palestine about the year 333 and built a monastery near the place of his birth. His labors in the exercises of virtue seemed to some to surpass his strength. To all his corporal austerities, though, he added a huge application to prayer and study. He was fluent in several languages, he read almost all scientific and historic books of his age, and he improved himself even more in learning by his travels to many parts of the world. Although himself a skillful director of others, St. Epiphanius took to the great St. Hilarion as his master in a spiritual life, the reputation of his virtue made St. Epiphanius known to distant countries, and about the year 367 he was chosen bishop of Salamis in Cyprus. But he still wore the monastic habit and continued to govern his monastery in Palestine, which he visited from time to time. He sometimes relaxed his austerities in favor of hospitality, preferring charity to abstinence. No one surpassed him in tenderness and charity to the poor. The veneration which all men had for his sanctity exempted him from the Arian emperor. In the year 376, he undertook a journey to Antioch in the hope of converting Vitalis, the Apollinarist bishop. And in the year 382, he accompanied St. Paulinus from that city to Rome, where they lodged at the house of St. Paula, our saint, in return, entertained her afterwards ten days in Cyprus in the year 385. The fame of St. Epiphanius rests chiefly upon his writings, the principal of which are the Ancaratus, a treatise designed to confirm unsettled minds in the true faith, the Panarium, or medicine chest against all heresies, the book of weights and measures which depicts many ancient Jewish customs and measures, and an essay on the precious stones set in the breastplate of Jewish high priests. These various works, which were formerly much esteemed, show the writer to have amassed a vast amount of information. St. Jerome might describe him as a last relic of ancient piety. St. Epiphanius died in the year 403 on his way back to his bishopric in Salamis after a short absence, he having been bishop there 36 years.